Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're with Summer Rain Oaks at her loft in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Summer Rain is an author with an interest in reconnecting people to nature. Now while she does have a roof with impressive views, the outdoors really bloom inside. There she created a verdant landscape where seemingly every surface is adorned with plant life. It's a serene and inspiring space for her and her pet chicken, Kippy. Take a look. I'm Summer Rain Oaks. Welcome to Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I'm an environmental scientist and entomologist by training, and I never expected to move in the city, and it's a little bit of a shock. So I decided to bring the outdoors in. So come see my little oasis of green in the city. Hey guys, welcome to my home, and you might be hearing my little foster hen, Kippy. I started living with her 11 months ago after I found her as an orphan, and she is a wonderful roommate. Plus, she gives me fresh eggs. So my space opens up to the dining room area. I like this piece of art right here, and I call it living art. It was something that I built with my dad, so it was a great father-daughter DIY, and this is a mason jar garden. I not only love being surrounded by plants, but it's great that this could act as an art piece as well. The kitchen is one of my favorite places, and it's definitely a quirky kitchen, but this is something that I made all my own, so I wanted to go overly green, so you'll see a lot of plants, but I also painted this a nice spring green. You'll see that my windowsills are full of plants because it's a great place to get light. And I have some in terrariums, which is a neat little hack, especially if you want to grow plants that need a little bit more humidity or need a microcosm that you wouldn't typically have if you were just growing them in your home. I love the 1950s sink and of course my cutting board, which I do a lot of cooking and I conveniently cut a little hole here for compost. To begin with, I have a hammock, which is one of my favorite places to come and relax and also read a book. And quite frankly, I think it's the next best thing to a fireplace to just lose yourself and forget that you're in the city. The pillar is not only great for hanging a hammock, but also lots of plants. You'll notice some trellises on the walls. These were actually tossed out on the side of the street and I picked them up. I mean, New Yorkers throw out the craziest things. And so I just painted them up and started to grow plants on them. So this is my couch area and it's another great place to relax. And I love all the color in this corner of the room. I have a lot of hand embroidered pillows from India and other places. And of course, if you look close enough, you'll be able to see my chicken in her nesting box. <laughs> She's pretty much taken over this whole couch area. And voila, Kippy laid her daily egg. So this is my bedroom, and it's probably one of the greenest rooms in the house. And it's complements to the sub-irrigated wall over here to the left. It waters from the bottom up, and it automatically waters itself, which is super helpful because there's about 80 plants in the wall. And on the base of it, there's a lot of Sansevieria or snake plants, which just are plants that really grow upright, so they're perfect for the base of the green wall. You could tell that this is an old closet because you could see how some plants are growing up on the rod where I used to hang my clothes. I have such great light coming in from my southwest facing windows that it's a perfect growing space. So I turned that into a garden as well. Some of these plants over here have the best view of New York City. Hopefully you enjoyed my little oasis in the city and it inspires you to bring a little bit more green into your life.